Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file, and I'm going to open it up. It's a Air Tag. I didn't know what it was, but it's important. And I don't have the font, so I'm going to replace the font. But you can see the watermark. Well, just don't import it on the page where the watermarks is. And then you can select the watermarks and move it out of the way. Now, I always question whether it opened it up to um, perfect measurements. And let's let's just let's measure this. So we're at 0.98. Let's turn our measurement to millimeters. I'll tell you what. Let's just turn this into millimeters. Uh, somehow I got the, there we go, font. I'm going to turn this into millimeters. And we're 24.98, and that's a measurement. So it did open it correctly. It just, I didn't get the circle perfectly. Now, it's got some, I I didn't know what it was. So I asked her for what it was, and it's an Apple product that you make evidently out of leather and cut it. And it's got stitch marks. So now it helps me understand what it is. This file has some problems. We're going to get rid of all these marks. Um, we don't need the measurements. Uh, it's pretty cool. She bought this file. And it's kind of depressing that somebody... Evidently, it's a print file that you would print out and maybe cut it out on paper. Or, you know, uh, they don't know, understand about lasers that we need a file. I'm going to... I'm going to change my nudge, my measuring max to inches. I'm going to change this to six inches, and I'm going to nudge the circle out of the way. I'm going to nudge this out of the way, and I'm going to nudge this out of the way. And you see one of the problems right there is we have double lines. Um, these That's three lines right there. This line we don't need because we've already got a completed object, so we're going to just hit delete and delete. This item here... If we take away the fill, is made up of a bunch of whatever. I'm thinking a snap goes in that hole. So the best way to figure out what size that hole is is take a rectangle, use your smart fill tool to fill that in and nudge that over, and then left click, right click, go up to object, break the curve, break the object apart, and take away this rectangle. Whoop and delete that now we have an, a, an ellipse. It needs to be a hairline, it needs to be red for a cut file. So now we can do the same thing with this one, but we need to turn it red and make it a hairline for a cut file. All this needs to be a hairline. So for a second, I'm gonna nudge this back. Well, you know what, I don't wanna nudge it. I actually went down. Um, yeah, here, that's good enough. Down wouldn't have been bad. I'm going to nudge them to the other way. But you see, I got part of the line because we got broken lines. Okay. Now, I'm actually going to nudge this out of the way for a second, and I'm going to make it red, and I'm going to make it a hairline. So now, we're going to have possibly some leaks. But we need to change all this to a hairline first anyway. So let's grab them all, left click, right, and make it a hairline for cutting. But we can't, well, we can't as a group. So now it's a hairline. But is it going to leak? And yes, it does. It's because it's got un, un, uh, the lines that are just uh, made up of a couple pieces. And you can see this. See how bad that file is? I mean, we're going to alter it a little bit, put it there. But what I would do now is because these lines are probably going to leak. I'm going to, and see, that's that's not a good fit there. So let's take that, hold down the shift key and take that. Select both those, go up to Windows, Dockers, Join, Curves. I've got mine set on point one, which will close that for definite. It's actually overkill, but it doesn't matter. 
Now we need to do the same thing there. But you need to, to, to do this, you need to take the shape tool and select that line, hold down the shift and select that line and then grab both those notes and hit apply. We'll go up to the top. So this is a lot of work for a file that you bought. Um, hold down the shift key, grab that one, go up here and hit apply. Hold down the shift key, grab that one, hit apply. It doesn't look like it's working. Hold down the shift, grab that one, grab both. They're because they're, they're on top of each other, I guess. Hold down the shift, grab that, and hit apply. It should not leak now, but I don't ever trust it, so I'm going to take a rectangle and put it around it, take the Smart Fill tool, and we still have a leak, and that's a little bit irritating. I don't, I don't know. Well, I didn't do a very good job of fixing that. So what we're going to have to do is take that, click on it, go to object. Let's convert the outline to an object. It's evidently just a line or I can't grab it. You can see how the line is still broken. What I'm going to do is I'm going to back up here a little bit when I tried to close those nodes. That ought to be far enough. Now, if I take the shape tool, see, there it is right there. I'm going to actually move that. And then hold down the shift and grab that and grab them both. Evidently, I didn't get a good clean uh, part of that. Let's see now if we have broken... You know, we still got broken lines. So move it back. Hold down the shift key and grab that side and then grab both those and hit apply. This is a lot of work for a file you paid money for, um, but it doesn't matter. So now we have that in the center line. We need to hold down the shift and grab that one. And see, there's the leak. It's just those two lines are just, the two nodes are just uh, too far apart. We have double nodes there. I might have already fixed this one, but we can delete one of the nodes. No, you can't, but we can grab both of them and put apply. I probably needed to move that guy over a little bit. Let's, uh, let's move it over there. Grab them both, hit apply. Now we shouldn't have any leaks, but you never know. There might be a leak in this thing. Grab the rectangle tool again. No, good, we got it, we're almost done. Now, we can grab our shape. As a matter of fact, we can just nudge these back. Now, all we lack is the stitch mark, and it's virtually pretty easy. And then you'll just have to do the same thing to the other side. I think you wanna, this is probably correct, you wanna probably engrave this and these are stitch holes. So we're gonna turn them red and make sure they're a hairline and then move it over. And what's gonna happen, you're gonna engrave that lightly and your thread is gonna lay down in that hole uh, much like that. It's gonna give it a, you can see the, the depth of there, the stitch. And then I would just do the exact same thing to the other side. Um, and you have it. Now, I'm guessing, I don't know why they had that. Um, if we look, that ellipse is 0.315 and that ellipse is 0.317. You know, bef you know, make sure you have your snap and maybe do some test cuts, you know, before you do that, uh, what it's going to look like. And you could actually take this exact one and produce this one from it. Let's get rid of that. And let's, uh, well, let's just do it real quick. If you're watching and you're bored with this, just stop watching. I'm going to help this person. This is the way I would do it if I wanted. So I'm going to group all this together. And I'm going to put it on top of that one. 
because all we need is this shape to make the second one. So let's do this. Let's take the Smart Fill tool and fill it. Of course, we've got some leaks. I'm going to put that back. Uh, basically, you're going to have to do the exact same thing uh, as we did on the first one. You know, change everything to a hairline. Okay, I need to ungroup it and just grab that grab that circle. And then I'm going to make a duplicate of this circle. Can just hit the plus key on the keyboard and just put it there. I'm going to take this circle and I'm going to delete it. I'm going to take this stitch stuff and just delete it. I'm going to take this circle, hit the plus key on the keyboard and move it over. I'm going to take this stitch stuff and just plus key on the keyboard and move it over. So we got everything right except for this outside layer. And you can see the double, this might be the longest video I've ever made. Um, you know what we're going to do? We're going to, we're going to nudge that over the other way, nudge that over the other way, nudge that over the other way. And we're going to select all this and we're going to left click and turn it into a hairline. Hairline's a lot easier to fix sometimes when you have broken nodes. I would actually probably smooth that off a little bit, but um, it's just not, somebody drew it and it was made to be cut out with, you know, scissors or, a, you know, something other than a laser because uh, that isn't very pretty. I would actually go back to SD and ask for my money back. So we're going to grab that one, hold down the shift, grab that one, grab both of them, and hit apply. That might be the only two we have to fix on this one. Okay, we got that one, hold down the shift and grab that one. Grab both of them and hit apply. And you can see we got a double no there. I'm going to try to remove it by delete. It changed the shape a little bit, but if we do what I'm thinking about doing, Let's group this together, Control-G, nudge it over, smart fill that and nudge it over. And then we can take this item and nudge it. Well, you know what? Make it life really easy. We didn't have to do all this. Let's do this right here. Let's make sure this is grouped together, control G. And let's take this and use the smart fill tool. And now let's fill it in with a different color so we'll know uh, something other than red. Look at that. There is your other piece. The exact same thing that we needed, hit delete. And we just need to look at the, well, somewhere it's a little bit off. Let's look at that again. See, it's probably where I fixed the line or they fixed the line. My tag or I moved it or something. Uh, easy fix. Let's back up here a few times. See, I was wondering when I did this, I could see some, I could see a few dots. That yellow is actually running down in there. So it's a bad file. Let's forget, let's grab that idea. And let's try to fix this from leaking. You know, there's our other leakers. So we're gonna grab, I think I've got to ungroup it. And this video is just gonna keep going and going. I'll grab them both and just hit apply. And see, I don't like that. I'm going to back up. I'm actually going to change it. And because you're stitching this, you know, I think it, this will work a lot better if we do this. Um, you know, since the two pieces are going to be stitched together, I don't think it's, you know, crucial that they're dead on. See, there's a, there's a, a line from we had them from the first one. We'll just delete that line, grab that, hold down the shift, grab that one, select both those and hit apply. There shouldn't be any more leaks 
because this should be a continuous circle. I think we've done the top, if I remember right. Good. And then nudge that up, left click, right click, make sure it's a hairline, and then we can nudge it down and over, and we're done. Well, we got some lines that, you know what, those, I might have moved those myself. I don't know why this, look, look at the nodes in that. That was because of the rough line. What I would do in this situation, just remember 3.17, take an ellipse, hold down your control button, 0.317, hit enter. <clears throat> and then what is so cool about this, it should snap right to it and then nudge it out of the way and then take this bad one and now nudge that back. So now we have a good clean ellipse. We need to look at the first one. See, I don't, I don't know what happened. Maybe when we, I think I replaced that one. So there's your finished product. And for the person I'm doing it for, I'll send you this file, but I, I would really hope you would uh, look at it yourself um, and try to do it yourself and learn a little bit. I don't mind doing files for people, but I want them. And uh, you might not be able to learn from this video. Anyway, I hope that helped. Thank you for watching.